Hey everybody, this is Buzz Stone back at you. I thought I'd just put together a quick little uh, video of my home studio that you saw in episode number one. Um, I have my radio auto, uh, automation program running in the background right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, we'll get zoom in here so you can hear a break about to come up. Yeah, a little kiss for you. Rock and roll all night. Um, what we're looking at here, this is my uh, audio processing rack. And um, this is a brand new camera I've never used. This is only the second video I've made with it. So excuse me if I'm not able to get everything in focus right away here. But... What you see there on the bottom is my uh, microphone audio processor. It's a uh, studio channel, uh, pre-amplifier. Uh, we'll also do compression and equalization. And then uh, that's fed up here to this unit here, which does some more uh, audio processing. As a matter of fact, if I lean over and talk into the microphone, you'll see uh, over there on the left, it's uh, picking up the audio. Um, maybe uh, on another video when I've got more time here, we'll go in, in depth on uh, what all this is. But you see here the keyboard. This is actually a, uh, of course, an LED lit keyboard. Typically, you would use this for a video game system. Uh, I'm not a gamer, but. Uh, the reason I wanted it was because I like to, a lot of times when I'm in here operating, I like to be dark or, or the lights down low, and this helps me see the keys because uh, they're lit up. And here's the um, control mixer here. This is a digital audio mixer. I've had this a uh, few months, really like it. It's made by DNR, it's called a web station. Again, maybe at some point in the future we can talk more about that and you see on the screen here this is my uh, radio automation program which is called play out one it's actually a company out of uh, Great Britain uh, it's a really good program I like it I've used you know a lot of radio automation programs um, I don't know if I zoom in here if you can see the playlist or not I don't think it's not a focus but uh, yeah, you see a whole hours playlist there on the screen. The songs will rotate through. I've got jingles. Uh, if you know anything about radio automation, you, you know you're familiar with voice tracking. I can record my uh, my breaks into the automation. It will play it back at the correct time in the hour uh, over the correct song. Uh, then over here, this is this is the digital metering for the mixer. You can see it's showing you the time there, uh, date, and uh, over on the left you see the audio levels. And then down below that is the uh, audio processing uh, for the signal. Um, it's called x Devil. So instead of an actual physical machine, it's uh, audio software that processes the audio for the, uh, for the station. Right at the moment I'm not uh, streaming. I'm uh, working actually on getting that set up, but what I do have is a low power FM uh, transmitter. Very low power, uh, otherwise it wouldn't be legal. But um, I can broadcast uh, around my yard here at the house. I can listen to it if I'm out working in the yard or on a car or something. Uh, you can hear it for a couple hundred feet. But um, and there, of course, is the microphone, uh, the on-air light, which you probably saw in the original video. But just thought you might uh, like to get a, a quick view of what i got going on here. That's the uh, receiver that I pick up the uh, air signal off with. And, uh, but yeah, of course, dual monitors. Um, well, one other thing I wanted to show you. I'll have to minimize the... Uh, digital metering here 
There's also a program I use that's called Music One, and this is it here. And this is where I set up an hour's worth of programming. You'll see a, a, an hour's clock, as we call it in the business. Each one of those colored triangles is a, a different song, and there's different categories, so the categories are, are uh, color coded. But what this program does is I've got about 1,800 songs that I'm rotating um, on my station here. It's, it's a classic hit station, by the way. If you haven't been able to figure that out. And uh, what this will do, it'll take this uh, format clock with all the categories in there around the hour, and it will automatically plug in the songs and make a, a playlist for me, and then feed that to the uh, automation program. And then, um, of, course, of course, the phone call comes in now. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, this feeds the uh, automation system, and then basically the station runs 24-7. And um, so, just an idea. One of my hobbies, now that I'm retired, you know, I have time to do stuff like this. So, anyway, this is Buzz. You're in the Stone Zone. And uh, once again, remember, uh, in the discussion uh, panel there, let me know what you'd like to see. If you want to know more about this kind of stuff, let me know. If not, that's fine too. But I uh, appreciate you uh, watching, checking in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you down the dial.